40 uh, Mineski team and on the other side, how many power do they have? They have absolute. They have zero tower, and they have a Chen. So, this is a pushing, a pushing plan for Mineski. But unfortunately, very, very well defended from the Venomancer. I do clearly recall myself saying, "Oh man, you know what? Chen is going to be very strong early on because you know the Venomancer won't get early XP. A Tai Hunter won't get early XP. So they will have a little bit difficult time in terms of preventing the push." But apparently, you just killed that freaking uh, Chen a couple of times. A BOT come here from Mitch, and this slaughter nowhere to go. Oh, he's gonna be complete trouble. Yeah, May goes down once again. Who's gonna pick up a kill? Mitch picks up a kill. He has to make a kill streak. Boots of travel with Wraith Pans. This is this is some point four AB Dota. If you guys remember that far back. But yeah, Mitch is going to boot to travel around, going to mid lane, trying to set something up. That's a very aggressive. What is he trying to do? Going to take a stun to the face. Shackle shot to the face as well. Mitch just basically fed that kill to Mineski. Mineski gladly will take that one. But I don't think Mineski could transition into push. They'll try four or five guys mid without the priestess, but Slaughter is dead as well. And Slaughter finding a lot of time being dead. He has a thousand golden spank. Maybe he's going to pick up a uh, vid booster for a little bit of extra survivability. But right now we do have Pink coming around to backstab. Venomancer in position. Ty Hunter is going to drop an ultimate for sure. And there is an ultimate right now. Venomancer ultimate to follow as well. Are we going to drop a Master Burn Ward? And we do have Hand of God coming right now. Anti Mage just doing absolute right kick. Mana Void is going to get a for sure kill if he wants to use it right now. And we do see uh, Jay going to be in complete trouble. But he's healed up. Looks like Ty Hunter is going to be the first one to drop Anti Mage. Use your ult. He's going to use all on the Chen right now. And we do see Dazzle going down as well. But looks like Anti Mage very, very low HP. Can they get off a swap? Not enough range just to do so right now. And Slaughter trying to get a chase. Nice blink out from Rasa. They're going to be absolutely fine. Good retreat here from Fnatic. And the score is 11-20 in a uh, 2 for 1 trade. Yep, two for one trade indeed. What Mineski need to do right now is get to get get off another push. Go push the mid tower right now because you know that Tai Hunter, even though if he comes back a knife, he won't have the ma uh, he won't have the ravage. Even with the Rasa come back alive, he won't have mass serpent wards. You can really take easy take advantage of the fact that the entire team has really long cooldown, so you could you know when they don't have the ultimate get a push then. But it seems like that's not what Mineski have in mind. And I do believe they're missing an opportunity. Slaughter is still trying to farm out on the top lane here. He just had purchased something. I wonder what that is. Um, anything on the courier? It's going to be an ochre club. So going for that black king bar. Uh, he really wants a vanguard as well. Generally, at this at this point in time, he would have the vanguard finish and then an ochre club. But right now, after many many deaths, Jay or May, excuse me, this farm is really really slow down. Let's check out how we're doing the farm. Anti mage. 121 in 20 minutes, that is 6 minute insane amount of farm. Of course, Grizzly not far behind, 92 on Rasa in 21 minutes, that's insane. 78 on Mitch, this BLT helping out a lot, but on the other side, we have 75 on J and 70 on May, and they are so far behind in terms of farm. Go to French Chart will absolutely blow your mind. Let's check it out. Yep, 12,000 gold difference. Whether Mineski could come back from this, that's another question. Long Arrow is going to hit Jay, but I'm not, I don't think they're too worried about that. And this opportunity is passed up as here as Chen is going to go down. Mana Void used just for him right now, and uh, we have Ravage coming up soon. And I don't believe right now Mineski should look for a fight, but they might do it anyway. Uh, wow, Moonlight Shadow plus Dust being dropped off right now. Worse of Ravage still coming off cooldown right now. 7 seconds, 5 seconds, Shadow Shot on Mitch right now to slow him in. Can they pick off the round? No, Anti Mage blinks out immediately and he will have the Ravage in 1 second. Ravage up online right now. Is he going to walk right into if initiate? Jay going to get hit up by Arrow. He's going to drop off a grave, but he's going to be in complete trouble. Ravage just stopped him and also his teammates as well. Jay's going to go down trying to heal himself up. Can he make it out alive? I don't think so. Mass Serpent Ward Trap nicely done and this team fight all in favor Fnatic. Fnatic about to win this game right now and uh, yep Mineski getting rolled unfortunately and may trying to get something done. He's gonna get one kill and actually picked up Gordon's a godlike streak but is Gordon gonna buy back? I don't think he really needs to do so but I think they can choose to end the game right now as you see Mitch leaps in for the kill here. Chen took a lot of damage but looks Chen's gotta be very careful. I don't think Chen's gonna survive. Grizzin doing that shackle and yes nicely done by the dual tag combo of Fnatic. Mid tower is gonna get picked off. They could just backdoor this one or last it or tank it. Just man it up. Man it up Mitch. Uh, lead it, okay. Master Serpent Wards, yeah, Creep's gonna take down this tower as well. 12 kill lead here for Fnatic, 6 tower lead here for Fnatic, and go different shard. 
I'm gonna let it register a bit and it's gonna be absolutely insane we're up to 15,000 now and I honestly do not believe Fnatic, uh, Mineski have the heroes they they have the players they're, they're, they're really good in terms of clutch situation but I don't think the heroes are capable of doing so Chen already well past his prime he has his mechanism finish uh, uh, Slaughter has been dying every single fight Dazzle has a VIP booster and arcane boots but really not many utility items to really help out his teammates Wimmer has another me we have a double mecha here coming from what? really confused exactly what this is about but hey double mecha is gonna be the choice here for Mineski uh, of course eventual spare going for that medallion courage not gonna finish it anytime soon me on the other side here we have Gordon with the battle fury and the vid booster he has a bit of gold in his bank of course Grizzine with the blink dagger arcane mecha wow look at the utility and a point booster as well Arcane Boots on the Tide Hunter, uh, Boots of Travel into Yasha and now Manta here for Mitch. And you all have Venomancer going for, gonna be getting that Hood into Pipe. And, uh, yep, very, very tanky heroes coming in from uh, Fnatic because they're just absolutely rich. They're so, so rich. Uh, Yasha upgraded here on the Anti Mage. He's gonna finish his uh, uh, Mansa very, very soon as well. And I am sad to see one of my favorite Dota 2 teams. Uh, getting hammered on right now. Yes, Mineski is one of my favorite Dota 2 team. MY or the new MYM slash MBFC. Very very fun team to watch. These two teams very aggressive, but right now Mineski not really showing that usual aggression. They they just got shut down early. Shut down hard by Fnatic. Really good play by the two supports. I think this play here in terms of shutting down Chen and also warding off the enemy jungle just really made sure that Chen couldn't get anything going. And I do believe that was essential to uh or Mineski that they, they they needed that Chen to really get get those early ganks, get those early push to get the game rolling. But unfortunately for them, that's not what they had. And uh, Fnatic right now about to go up even more in terms of 